everybody! I'm Mrs. S, and this is 10 Minute Preschool. Today, we're going to talk about sink or float. Are you ready? Let's go! Hi, boys and girls! I am so glad you are here. Let's sing our welcome song. Are you ready? Hello, preschool friends, how are you? Good, good! Hello, preschool friends, how are you? Good, good! It is time to start our day. We are here to learn and play. Hello, preschool friends, how are you? Good, good! Do you like to take baths? How about bubble baths? I used to love to take baths because they're warm and fun, and you can do science experiments in the bathtub. I'm going to show you how to do a science experiment today called sink or float. You can have a grown-up help you set up this experiment at home. You don't need a bathtub. All you need is a container of water. I'm going to have my trusty assistant, Dr. Steve, help me by bringing me my water over. Thank you so much, Dr. Steve. And I'm going to show you what it means. Now, you can have a grown-up help you set this up at home. Always ask your grown-up first, okay? So sink or float, what does that mean? I will show you. First, I have a rock. A rock feels heavy and it's solid. Solid means that it's all rock all the way through. Now when I put this in the water, watch what happens. The rock sinks to the bottom. Something that sinks goes all the way to the bottom. Do you see the rock in there? Good. Now, I have this plastic egg. What color is that egg? It's orange. And a plastic egg is not solid, it's empty. It's just got air inside. So when I put it in the water, it floats. Something that floats hangs out at the top of the water or sometimes in about the middle, but it doesn't sink like the rock, okay? So let's be scientists and experiment and look at other objects that might sink or float. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, I have a bowl here. now. Look what I have here. That is a rubber ducky. What do you think is it gonna do? Is it gonna sink or is it gonna float? Are you ready? Tell me. Let's see. That's right, the rubber ducky floats. How about this plastic ball? What color is that ball? It's blue. Now, this ball is solid like the rock. It's ball all the way through but it's made of plastic like the egg. So I wonder, will it sink or float? What do you think? Let's see. The ball floats. What else do I have in here? I have some coins. There's a coin, some money. What do you think? Will coins sink or float? Let's see. The coin sank to the bottom, just like the rock. Do you know what this is, boys and girls? This is called the clothespin. Ready? Do you think this will sink or float? Let's see. It floats. A clothespin floats. Let's see, one more thing. I have this really pretty seashell. Do you think the seashell will sink or will it float? Let's see. Oh, that shell sank right to the bottom, didn't it? That's right. Once you've mastered sink or float, then you can play sink a boat. I have a toy boat here. What color is that boat? It's red, that's right. If you don't have a boat at home, you can make one with your grown-up. This is made out of aluminum foil. See how I just folded up the sides? So now I can show you how to play sink a boat. I take some of these out of the water, and I have some rocks here. Now we know the rocks are made out of a material that sinks to the bottom. Let's put our foil boat into the water. That's right, it floats. Now we're going to put some rocks in. Will you count these rocks with me? Ready? One. It's still floating. Two. It only took two rocks to sink my boat? Wasn't that fun? Boys and girls, when you make these guesses, 
whether or not it will sink or float, or how many rocks does it take to sink a boat. It doesn't matter if your guess is right or wrong. Do you know why? Because it's all part of science. We're just making observations and making guesses and seeing what happens. So it's okay if you don't get the answer right at first. Just try again. I hope you had fun playing sink or float and sink a boat with me. And now I'd like to sing a song about a boat. Do you know which one I might sing? Let's sing row, row, row your boat together. Are you ready? <clears throat> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Now I like to sing this song in a silly way. First we sing the first part very slow, and then we sing the second part fast. Follow me. Are you ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. How fast? Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Whew. Let's do that one more time. Are you ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <laughs> I love that song. It's so much fun. I hope you had fun with me today. I think it's time to say goodbye though. And guess who I have? That's right. Tucker's always here to say goodbye with us. Are you ready? Bye, bye, see you again. Hope to see you soon. Bye, bye, see you again. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye, boys and girls. I'll see you next time.